So we're back. I've made a couple attempts at the dancer since then, just to see if I could get it low enough where I could kill it in another hit or two. Kind of like when I practice with the four kings with certain setups, just to see if I can. Anyway, I'm going to clear these guys out. We'll get up there. I want to see if anybody is available for assistance. And I'll meet you in there, I guess. Or I'll meet you up top. Oh, there is a summon sign. Regella. Okay. Wait, unable... Oh, dear. Well, it was worth a shot. I guess maybe we should just go in? Yeah, I guess. Let's go in. Hello, dear. I know. You're as happy to see me as I am to see you. I mean, your theme is lovely. I just need to remember to position myself properly, which... I think is behind you. Then again, I could be wrong. I'm stuck on the door. This is not good. There we go. Whew! Come here. Come here. Just need to take my time. I did switch up my rings, so I've got a uh, Flamestone Plate, Chlorinthi, Pontiff's Right Eye, and uh, the Milk Ring still. So, it's like, I'm getting the uh, near constant attack boost, I just need to uh, keep attacking. Come on, come on. Oh boy. Yeah, I've seen that before. Wait, did I poise break the spin? I did! Oh, and she bleeds! Cool! Just gonna heal up again while I have the chance. She is mystifying, I swear, I love it. This is about as far as I was able to get her health last night, actually. Easy. Just take your time, Craig. Woo! Aha! Easy. Just keep her going. Screw these pews. No one's gonna be in here anyway once I'm done. Man, that dark does so much damage. Aw, oh, man, we were so close! Can we do it again? I wonder. Meet you back there. Hello again. I know, I know, you don't like me. I wonder, do you really dislike me, or are you just doing a certain job or task that was given to you? Honest question here. You are mysterious, and I want to know more about you. I don't know if I'll ever learn that much. I don't know how you missed me, but I'm willing to work with it. There we go. There's the spin out. Stay behind. Or at least back out. Easy. Easy does her girl. So from what I understand, 
you're supposed to be able to parry her. Ow. Or like, uh, you know, going for a critical attack on the head. But I don't rightly know. Also, am I still wearing Aldrich's ruby? I might be. Nope, okay, yeah. That's my setup right now. You know, I could probably re-equip the katana just in case for a couple quick strikes. Why don't I do that for now? That's why. Because apparently it adds so much extra weight. Which is kind of weird. It's only five and a half, yeah? Oh, no, that makes sense. Wow, alright. Well, we could try summoning them again. I mean, we can do so much on our own. Why don't we? Alright, never mind. Side dodge, Jazzy. Side roll. You got this. You can, you can do it. You have at least ten numbers left. Almost there. I'm just gonna let them come back out this way. You know, maybe I should apply some Karthus Rouge while I'm at it. This is a bad idea, but fuck it. Doing it! <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Hello.
Easy. Okay. It's fine, we survived the slam. For once. Oh my god, we did it! A lovely dance, my dear. But we did it. Alright, let's switch back to my normal setup. Except I'm gonna remove Pontiff's left eye and replace it with the right eye, because I do like the attack boost. Oh, you know, the slight bit of health back is nice. Uh, what do we normally have here? Silver Serpent, and then, uh, Flynn's Ring. Yeah. You know, in hindsight, the Karthus Rouge wasn't entirely necessary, but I wasn't sure. And we'll put the Uchi Katana back on in a moment. Oh, there's my Black Leather. This is kind of an impromptu session, I just kind of wanted to do it, so here we are. Yeah, there you go, Craig. You're back to your normal self. God, that was an interesting endeavor, was it not? Let's go back to Firelink. I want to see what Ludluth can give us for this soul. But first, we should read what Soul says. That's Yorm the Giant. Where's the dancer? The Pontiff Sullivan bestowed a double slashing sword upon a distant daughter of the formal royal family, ordering her to serve first as a dancer and then as an outrider knight, the equivalent to exile. And that's kind of dickish. Oh well, we have a lot of souls. Hello, dear. Oh, wait, hang on, I'm missing one piece of equipment. Well, two, but yes. Where are my katanas? And where's my rapier? Where is it? That's the mail breaker. Here it is. Hello, darling. Actually, hang on, let me speak with Lilith first. Hey, dude, what's up? Wait, this is Yorm's... Or, the, that's Aldrich's seat, isn't it? Here you are. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, have we to any twisted souls? I know the music's a bit loud, I will adjust that momentarily. Dancer's Enchanted Swords. Paired enchanted swords that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. These blades, symbolic of the Dancer's vows, are enchanted by dark magic in the right hand and fire in the left, mirroring the Pontiff. Unleash the fury of both blades in a dancing spin motion and use strong attack to continue the performance until stamina is exhausted. Ooh. But we also get soothing sunlight. The Miracles of Guinevere, the princess cherished by all bestow their blessing upon a great many warriors. So if the formal royal family is, uh, you know, Guinevere, whoever she married, does that mean the dancer was her daughter? Hmm. Perhaps? You know what? I'm gonna go with the swords. I want to try these out. I mean, I could also use the Demon Fist for uh, something, I guess. Except, you know, that might be more of a big Roy weapon. Now, now. Do not be away over long. Don't worry, man. I won't be. I mean, first off, we can go into Lothric proper now, but, uh... There's some more DLC stuff I want to try out. So why don't we do that after we level up, of course. Welcome home, Russian one. 
speak thine heart's desire. I want to level up. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. All right. I did put a couple more points into decks, so why don't we do one in endurance this time, so we actually get more uh, use out of our stamina bar. Vitality might be nice for equip load, but you know, and I really want to use Flynn's Ring to effect. I, that's when I go with the almost naked setup. Uh, maybe another point in faith would be good. Yeah, let's do that. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. And, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think. We could buy a few more embers just to make up for what we used. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? I want to buy. And let's just buy these four. And then we can buy a couple of these. Alright, we're good. Ashen one. Be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> I'll be sure to bring them. Do I have any other key items? Okay, so we've got the basin of vows. Yes. You know, maybe I should go in there to the first bonfire just to make sure that I can uh, get. I remember to go back. No, as long as I have that base in them, should be good. So why don't we just head back into the uh, painted world? Also, was part of the bonfire just glitching out there? I want to start from here. I thought I saw a path. I'm not going for the grave tender yet. Maybe I should, though. Let's check this out first. Alright, so it was down here. I thought I saw it. Let me check from the bridge. Yeah, that's definitely a path. Okay. Good thing there's a ladder right here. And I also saw that crystal lizard, so don't worry. Come here, you. Get back here. Gotcha. I'll take that large titanite. I didn't see this before. What's the deal, gents? Name's Daniels. Craig Daniels. No, stop breathing your fire. You're not Pierce Brosnan. Interestingly enough, Pierce Brosnan was also James Bond. Not saying Craig is James Bond. I'm just saying you've never seen the two of them in the room together. Oh, dude! We got the sliding back from Dark Souls 1! Nice! Yeah! That was cool. I don't know how necessary that was, but it was cool. Alright, that's where the Grave Tender is. Or at least the Champion's Grave... Yeah, he's still a Grave Tender. Take that. I haven't used a lot of my souls recently. Maybe I have, I don't remember. We'll do it later. Are those Corvians I hear, or is that something else? I don't remember. I think Corvians were mostly gasping. Are those leech people? Hang on. Detour time. Well, something's wriggling. They're bird people. That's what I'm hearing. Is this what becomes of Corvians? Is this what Corvians come from? Yeah. Uh. Go away, sir. Wait, he dropped something. Dung pies. Okay. That works for me. Just 
Sorry, children. Had to be done. It is a deliberate massacre of your people, you see. Hmm, perhaps that's a little too much. Man, this thing cuts fast. Why is it? Oh, because I've got Pontiff's Red Eye active. That's what it is. I like this ring. I like this ring a lot. I mean, we can go up still, but there's also stuff to... There's also stuff in there. How do I even get onto this? Stop it! Looks like I have to jump to it from up there. Why don't we check what's up top first? How do I get up to you? Oh, I know. Hold on. How are you still alive? Didn't I murder everybody here? Now I did. You know, a question I've always had that's never really been answered. How is it that your character knows how to use all of the weapons, like from a lore perspective? Oh, okay, I had to go that way anyway. Like, you know, with the Black Blade, for example. How does your character know how to do the, uh, tech or perform the technique that the original owner was, uh, well known for? Is it just like the spirit of the original owner lives on through the weapon and so you kind of understand how to use it as a result? Does the weapon itself guide you? I mean, from a mechanical sp pr perspective, yes, I understand. But it's just a question I have. It's similar to, you know, why a character who, you know, might not have a background as a hunter is able to use hunter weapons in Bloodborne. Just thoughts I have. Alright, you get the scythe. Hey Micah, how are you? Oh boy. Oh boy! Okay, I get it. Barnabas shouldn't do you star of hate. But it was life or death. It was us or them. And you know what? Given the cho given the choice, I would probably do it again. Woo! Large Titanite chart and a Friestus charge back. Okay. Man, Micah does not fool around. Well, whatever. We don't really have much other choice here, so... I'm re I really want to know what's beyond that tomb. Like, what's over there? That'll wait for another day. I love the way this ice looks. Seriously, it's beautiful. That's probably one of my favorite things. Like, okay, I would never go to Antarctica because fuck the cold. But if I ever have the chance to explore one of those naturally made ice caves, you know I'm all over it. I hear breathing. Something is in here with me. Or it could possibly just be outside. Hello! Good, good. Ah, uh, poor soul. But could this be a friendship? Hey! Oh. Well. There 
is nothing forlorn about you. You must be the other Ash, I suppose. Oh. Oh, finally, you have come. Oh, wondrous Ash, grant us our wish. Make the tales true and burn this world away. My lady must see flame, and you have only to show her. You are ash, are you not? Is it not fire that you seek? Surely you've seen the rot that afflicts our world. But that which fooled the good father and buried the flame after we had all made up our minds too. So, please, grant us one wish. Make the tales true and burn this world away. My lady must see flame and you have only to show her. Oh, I like both. Oh, please. It must be you. I am so terribly frightened of timidly rotting away like those, like those fools on the outside. All right. I will do that for you, dude. I mean, that was kind of my plan anyway, I assume. This might be the one that just got raided. Yep. That was the one, because everything else kind of, uh, was already, wait, was there a pour in there? No, okay. My eyes are playing tricks on me, you understand? Ah, you're the one. Surprise! Yeah, I'm going back to the katana for you guys. I like the slicey dicey moves. Don't get me wrong, I like the scythe, but at the same time, sometimes you just need to vary it up a little. Oh, that's convenient. So I wonder, if we set the world on fire, like he says, and I know some of you are already singing that song. Anyway, if we set the world ablaze, like he asks us to, will that burn the dude who's holding the rotted scrap of the painting? I hope so. A little bit of retribution never hurts, even if it's indirect. What are you talking about? Retribution always hurts the person who gets retribution. No, not the person who gets the revenge, but the person who the revenge is acted upon. Not that I really care what happens to that dude, he tricked me in here. Could've just told me what's going on. I probably would've hopped in anyway, because I'm an adventurer. I'm an adventurer! Alright. Oh! Man, Micah does not pick sides, does he? Maybe he does. That was collateral. No, that's not... That would, Micah wouldn't do that. Thank you! Yeah, you're definitely a Tengu. Oh, you're one of those guys. Fine. You know what? If I have to. Ow. Well, you know, at least I know he's there. And at least we didn't die too far from the fire. Yeah, we're close. I suppose I could do with more stamina. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Is there anything over on this side of the building? I know I already checked here, but still. Isn't that where I came in? 
Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, let's keep moving. What happens if I go over that way instead? I know my voice is cracking a lot. That doesn't open from the side. Okay, how about this one? That doesn't open from the side either. Come on, guys. Watch out your one way doors. Alright, I'm gonna let him do his thing up there. Seems like I don't have much of a choice but to go that way. Unless I go around. Maybe I should go around. What's over this way? I saw you reach for me. I hit the button before you did anything. I was about to try and talk to you. Down you go. And you. Oh, okay, I see what the point of this room was. I was just about to ask. I gotta jump for it. There we go. And then we come in here. Oh, you're one of those fellows, eh? Well, I'm sorry, bud, but this is for the best. As much as I enjoy the company of crows, they're good birds. Crows are very smart. Crow quills? What are these? Thrusting sword wielded by Corvian knights and a special paired weapon. When twin-handed, brandish four thin-edged blades in the left hand. In their infatuation with Sister Free, the Corvian knights swore to protect the painting from fire, and to this end, took to the execution of their own brethren. Simultaneously throw temporarily substantial illusions of the four thin-edged blades wielded in the left hand. Interesting. Maybe I should try him. Yeah, you know what? Here, let's, uh... Nice! Okay, I actually kind of like this. This might replace the rapier. I might have to... I'd have to reinforce it and get used to it. Opposite. Well, what am I saying? Let's just go after some of these guys. We can do that. No bleed damage, though, sadly. We'll put you away for now. But you do have my attention. Just pointing that out.